Hello and welcome back to my channel. Before we get on with the video, I want to talk about the great little giveaway we have going on on my pages. I've teamed up with Craft Resin to offer you a $100 gift card to spend on any Craft Resin products online. To be able to win this card, all you have to do is follow three simple things. First, you have to subscribe to this channel and you have to follow Craft Resin on their Facebook. I will put the links below. Secondly, in the comments, I want you to answer this really weird and <laughs> random question. What is your favourite thing to eat on toast? Yep, that is the question. And thirdly, for a chance to be entered more than once, tag friends underneath this video or on my social media wherever you see my giveaway posts. Every time you tag a friend, it gives you another entry into the competition. Every name at the end of the competition will be put into a random generator. So if you have multiple entries, there's more chance of your name being picked. And the winner will be announced after April 30th, 2022. The competition closes on April 30th at midnight. So be sure to enter below. Craft Resin do a range of resins and pigments and are just a really good resin company. So I'm really like happy to be able to offer you guys this giveaway. So now let's get on with the video. Okay, for this project, you're going to go to Google and you're going to Google printable decoupage pages. I'm going for birds, so I put birds in my search. And then I just found some pages that I really liked on Google and I saved the images to my desktop. Then you're going to take them to canva.com, which is a free website. And you're going to make an A4 page. Click on the A4 page where you can upload your images and resize your birds. You need at least three or four of each picture that you've picked. I did them in multiple sizes here in case that I had them the wrong size. You're going to save it as a PDF print, download it from Canva. And then once you save it as a PDF print, you're going to open that PDF and it should look like this. And you're going to print it in the best possible resolution that your printer can print. And that's what we're going to use today to make some 3D layered resin and make a really pretty pendant or keyring, whatever we're going to make with it. Okay, so once you have your printout, it should look like this. And you just want multiples. Now, the reason I did multiple sizes is so that I could then take my mould, which I'm using the circle part of this mould because I like it, and pick the best bird size. And I think I'm actually going to go for the biggest one. I think I could have probably gone even a tiny bit bigger. So you want to pick your bird and then what you want to do is start cutting them out. Now I'm not going to keep the tiniest details on them all. The first bird I'm going to completely cut out as a whole. I'm not sure about this branch. I might stop the branch at each side of its feet so I can make the branch more extended in my artwork. But then any parts that I think will be more raised, so like its breast, its wing, its head will be on the next cutout and then the next one again maybe just its head and beak you want to cut out the the parts that will be more raised in every layer because this is all about layering now the best thing is to get yourself a little pair of detailing scissors i have a little pair of scissors and you're basically just going to cut these out now you don't have to be super fussy with details if there's anything too feathery just cut straight lines it's that small that no one is really going to peer into your resin and be like, oh, you cut his feather off. But you do want to be as close to the details as possible. Now, I used to do a lot of these. I will find some pictures and add the pictures in for you to see whilst I cut this out. I used to make 3D resin all the time. My practice with cutting out these small details though. So I'm going to keep the branch, but I'm stopping it at each side of its foot. Because when we come to putting it in a resin, I want to extend that branch. Okay, I've cut out these little tiny pieces. And it's really up to you how many layers you do. Some birds might only, you might only want a bird and a wing. I like to try and make them a little more dimensional. So I've done four layers. Now... 
there are places that are white that I don't want to stay white so I'm actually going to take some gel glitter pens so any bits you don't want to stay white just colour them in this also adds a little bit of um, metallicness to your bird now you don't need to put it on the layers that are going to be covered but I just like to do them all just in case so I just want to add a little bit of purple sparkle in there not like completely see so I test on that one to see if I like it first before the one that you're actually going to see so that gives our bird its little bit of sparkle now we're going to work from back to front normally when you make things in resin you work face down that's why we need a mold that has a flat back because we're going to work this way because you have to see to be able to place everything perfectly so we're using the craft resin and i've noticed that craft resin does really well when you preheat one part of your resin it has so much better bubble popping abilities and comes out clearer i'm just making sure my mold is completely free of everything so I'm going to be preheating one bar of my craft resin and we really really want the tiniest of layers at a time okay so for my branch I actually went and found another image and I'm going to cut out this branch in these flowers I, I kept my little bird beside so I could measure the thickness of the branch I'm going to keep some of the flowers on this one I'm going to be using my barrier cream instead of gloves so don't come for me about not wearing gloves and I'm not going to be talking because I have to put a mask on as well So I'm using mica powders to kind of paint my first layer. Silicon grabs mica powders quite well. So I'm basically just going to paint a very pale sky. And this will get brighter when I do my back layer later on. shades of blue mica And as long as you're rubbing it in really well, it will leave some desired color. So when you're done, you want to blow out the excess. And as you can see, you're left with something pretty subtle for our first layer of resin. And I'm also going to make sure I get the sides. Okay, you want the thinnest layer ever. It's the best way. So lift your mold and move it around the thinnest thinnest layer ever
So this one is Let's see where my bird is going to sit. Want it down a little tiny bit more. Just have fun with it. It's creating a little scene of nature. There's no right or wrong. As long as you leave your space where your bird is going to go open. Fixable. I feel like these will add so much prettiness to this little scene. Just realized the flipped one in here. I'm going to put it over there just to balance it a little bit. Helps if I turn it the right way. These are so delicate, it's unreal. They just smash into a million pieces when you use them. So as if it's hanging from another tree and then use the off cuts to fill in the gap. Okay, before I move on to the next layer, I just want to put a tiny, tiny bit of glitter on my clouds. I'm very much a more is more person. <laughs> Oh well, I just dropped in the sky, so we've got a tiny amount of glitter in this. May as well just do that. I have to have sparkles somewhere. I'm just a sparkle mad person. So because it's really tacky, now is a good time to touch up any little bits that I want more leaves. not gonna go anywhere. I'm making like a little frame. Now I want to get everything that I've put in here at least covered once just to make sure everything's nice and secure. So if I start at the high points Once again, we don't want this to be a really thick layer. We want this to be quite a thin layer. Just don't want everything to be a little bit coated. And especially that bird. And then we'll come back. Okay, it should be sticking out. See it, it's like firm enough to take the next bird. Now if you find your paper has curled up slightly, which if you'd have painted it with acrylic paints first, it really shouldn't. Then you can always hold it down on your paper and heat gun it. It really does help. Now I just noticed its beak is not as bright as the first beak. So I'm going to add some orange to it. And you want to place it pretty much identically where it was. This is your first bird layer. And then we're just going to let that cure a little more. Now we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to do a really thin layer. We're going to let it gel up. Put another layer of its face on. And we're going to keep doing this until we have 
the entire bird covered with raisin and then we're going to let it cure overnight. So now we just let that gel up and I think this is going to be my last layer for its face. I don't think I'm going to do the fourth one. I think I'm going to do this one as the last layer. <clears throat> I don't think it needs any more than that. So this should be solid enough for the last and final bird bit. Oh, it's so cute. So as you can see, you just want to gently press that on, like so. Okay, so I've taken out the mold, I've given it a little sand around the edges. And I'm going to give it its top glaze. But as you can see, our little bird is in there. Okay, so my front coat is dry, as you can see, it's really cute. Now to finish this, my makeup powder is quite transparent because I started with makeup powder. So I'm going to go for a white background just to make that really pop, it won't be transparent anymore. And because I don't want my, bro my brooch back to show through it, I'm going to use a safety pin. I'm going to put it right behind my bird's head. So, best way is just to look. Now, I've never tried these safety pins before, so this is going to be an experiment for me. I'm going to leave that to dry for a couple of minutes while I mix up my resin. If your piece isn't drying too great, like you've used too much super glue, you can always dab off the excess. It will dry a lot quicker. You don't need that much super glue, it's just to stop it sliding around when you add the resin. I like to first spread it out thinly, just so that resin goes everywhere. Because resin is self-leveling, it means that once I've done this, I can just pour resin in the middle and it will self-dome. Don't forget to hold your little pin in place with some resin. Once you've got enough, it'll stop pulling away from the edges. Okay, so that's cured overnight. Stick the safety pin on it. And there we go. 
a 3D bird. With a safety pin back. So if you use this method, let me know. You can post your pictures and things on my social media. All the links are on my profile on my YouTube channel. And I'm happy to see when people have made things using my videos. So there we go. There's our 3D bird.